Alright, welcome back to Crafty Batches Beer Reviews. It's me, Adam, and we are here with the last, um, but not the least, uh, installment on the Yeti series from Great Divide Brewing. Um, this is the Belgian style Yeti. It's an uh, Imperial style again, of course. It's the Belgian style Imperial style from Great Divide Brewing. So, um, this should be quite an intriguing beer. Um, using a Belgian yeast strain, of course, obviously, in this beer. Um, let's see, it's going to be 9%, 9.5% alcohol again. I'm already seeing a big yeast cake at the bottom, um, which is common in a big Belgian beer. So, um, so 9.5% by volume. This was bottled July 18th of 2011. Um, and we are in March 9th of 2012 right now. So, um, suggested food pairings for this beer are uh, Belgian beef stew, um, blue cheeses, garlic mashed potatoes, vanilla cheesecake, chocolate mousse. So, anything really sweet or really strong, bold flavors. Um, really sharp cheeses, uh, pungent cheeses. going to go good with this. So, should be really uh, interesting beer. I'm looking for probably some fruity notes, um, maybe a little chocolatey in this, um, but should be really good. Um, the last one I reviewed was a chocolate oak aged uh, imperial stout, and that was great, it was delicious. Really big chocolate notes, bigger than I expected, but uh, expecting some really big things out of this beer, so um, excited to get into it. So it's kind of sad I'm ending the series now, but also very excited to drink this beer so uh, I'm going to crack this open get a pour see what it looks like in a glass <clears throat> of course it's pouring a very dark crude oil kind of color Again, that big, chocolatey, very dark brown head. Um, just took a whiff there, and yeah, I hit, you know, that. I love the smell of the Belgian beer. Just that Belgian yeast, you get that E3, just really just kind of this tingly in your nose when you smell, but just a, a really bright nose you get with the Belgian yeast strain which I love. Um, I'm getting chocolate, I'm getting dark fruit, really nice roasty malt note, um, but yeah, definitely getting really uh, bold, like chocolate and dark fruit um, on the nose on this beer. Smells great, looks beautiful in the glass, really nice lacing around the glass. Smells amazing, so let's get into it. Oh, oh yeah. First thing I taste, I'm like, this is a Belgian beer. First thing I notice, a really uh, <clears throat> dark fruit note, um, but just, just, I mean, it just hits my mouth with flavor right away. Um, really nice washes down with a dark malty roasty note leading kind of into um, a coffee espresso note um, and just finishing a tad dry um, maybe a hint of pininess at the end um, but but not much there um, really just takes you on a journey so I mean in the front I'm just getting Belgian that fruitiness dark fruit flavor um, but really bright and big um, goes through into just like a dark roastiness um, into kind of a coffee note just I mean, beautiful oh man it's like everything I love or a little bit of what I love in a Belgian beer and an imperial stout you have big bold dark roasty flavors from the Imperial Stout 
but you've got this, this like sweeping in with this uh, this dark fruit and a really bright you know big flavor from a Belgian They're really nice um, really nice beer again on the nose it's just this you know it's this bright Belgian beer it's, it's got but accompanied with these dark roasty notes so really good stuff um, I mean I usually neglect to rate the beer but I guess I should go ahead um, I'll go ahead and say in the Yeti series I started with the Imperial Stout, I went to the Espresso Oak Aged um, I went to the Oak Aged and, and the three of those all kind of lingered around the same area for me um, they were they were nice, they were good, I enjoyed them thoroughly, um, big, bold, imperial style beers, <clears throat> but they definitely didn't hit the levels that the chocolate oak aged and this Belgian style um, hit. Um, so I'd say on a scale of 10, I'll go 8s um, on those. Um, on the first three, the Oak Age, the Espresso Oak Age, and the Imperial Stout. Um, on the Chocolate Oak Age, I'm going to say that's hitting more like a 9-ish. Um, 9.5. It was, it was delicious. I'm not going to lie. The Belgian, I'm going to go 9. 9.25 maybe. But great. I mean, delicious. Um, I probably like the Chocolate Oak Age better, but, but this is a blast to drink. Yeah, I love I love incorporating that Belgian, big Belgian um, beer flavor, I guess, in with this roasty, big Imperial Stout. Um, really nice beer. Has a, a delightful nose. A really nice nose on it. I mean, just some real dark fruit notes in there, accompanied with that with that roasty maltiness and just has that. I mean, all these beers have a really nice thick mouthfeel. This one's a little lighter, which I on the mouthfeel, um, than some of the other ones, which I think is because of the Belgian yeast. Um, but the nose just, I mean, it, it just fills you up. Um, it's really, really nice. Yeah, the mouthfeel on this is definitely lighter, which I, I would attribute to the, uh, the Belgian yeast. And, I, and I, I don't know if that's true, but that's what I see. Um, I see in the Belgian yeast, it, it gets this really, like, the nose gets this estuary, really bright note to it. I feel like that just kind of uh, kind of lightens up the beer. Like, as much as it might be a big beer, it also has this kind of light quality to it. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, really nice. Uh, good mouthfeel. Not as thick as some of the other ones, but... And the alcohol doesn't hit you at all, really. At 9.5%, 9 9 I mean, this is just, this drinks down just like 5%. I mean, really, really nice. Really enjoy this beer. So, I will say about the Belgian style Yeti, good job. Thank you very much, Great Divide Brewing. Um, <clears throat> it's been a blast. I've enjoyed the Yeti. Imperial Stout beers. This is the last of them, to my knowledge, unless they come out with something else. Um, really enjoyed it. My top pick's going to be the Chocolate Oak Aged. It just had some really bold, big flavors going on. It was a, lot, it was a really good drink. Um, then we're going to go with the Belgian Style. Really nice beer. So, thank you, Great Divide. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to check out the other videos. I will be posting... Um, soon some other beers from Great Divide not the Yeti series, I got the Hercules double IPA I have the old Ruffian Barley style wine um, and some others that I'll do eventually as well so look forward to those um, but of course Great Divide Brewing go for their Imperial Stouts I say get all of them and just try each one, go along with a little, travel along with it and just see how each one changes and the little nuances between each one. So, 
great beer. Get out there, try it, enjoy it. And uh, again, I'll plug support your local brewery. So get out there, find out what, what you've got in the area, and support them. So cheers. All right, and I'm back um, towards the end of this beer. And really, it's uh, it's grown on me even more. I mean, I liked it to begin with, but I mean, just a lot of dark fruit. I mean, like just just dark, like raisin plum notes. Um, it really is. It's amazing. Uh, I actually have a homebrew recipe that I've worked on for a while that I'm hoping to make uh, probably this summer and it's an imperial style recipe um, and I was playing around with the idea of using a Belgian yeast um, and this pretty much sealed it up for me um, it's I was worried that it would take it in the wrong direction and it would just confuse your palate but the Belgian yeast if, if anything just made this that much better I mean took the imperial stout lightened it a little bit um, added some dark fruit notes and it is delicious um, so I'm pretty positive I'm going to use a Belgian yeast now this I mean, really is a fantastic beer I mean more than anything I love smelling a beer with the Belgian yeast and just getting that really bright ethery kind of just it's an intoxicating smell to me I love it to death um, but and I mean on the nose I smell this dark fruit and it's just this really rich characteristic I mean it's amazing um, as this beers warmed up a little bit more I've just gotten more of that just that bold Belgian flavor and it's great I love it. Uh, I think I think it meshes really well with an imperial stout um, style. Um, it's definitely different. It's it's different than the normal, and uh, I really like it. So I think it goes great, um, and and it really just enhances the beer. Um, not to say that imperial stout by itself isn't great. I just think that this is a is a great addition. And a great modification of the Imperial Stout style. So, great beer again. Um, that's all I'm going to say. Thank you for joining me. Um, but, y'all take care. Cheers. Happy drinking. So long.